What if I told you there's only one country on Earth that produces all the food it needs? Not the U.S., not China, but Guyana, a small South American nation most people overlook. In a world full of food insecurity and rising import bills, Guyana has quietly pulled off what no one else has. A new global study published in Nature Food and reported by BBC Science, Focus analyzed 180 six countries across seven essential food groups. Only Guyana met the threshold for all of them. This includes meat, dairy, fish, vegetables, fruits, starchy staples, and plant-based proteins. While major economies scramble to secure supply chains, this CARICOM nation is thriving in the one sector the world is now realizing is most critical, food security. The Nature Food Study measured how much of each country's food supply is produced domestically. The researchers wanted to know, could a country feed itself without any imports? In a world plagued by global shipping shocks, climate change, and geopolitical tensions, that's a serious question. The results were shocking. Superpowers like China and Vietnam came close, covering six of the seven food categories, but only Guyana managed all seven. Even agricultural giants like Brazil and the U.S. fell short in one or more food groups. This makes Guyana a global outlier, not just in the Caribbean or South America, but in the entire world. It's a monumental achievement for a country with fewer than a million people. This didn't happen by accident. Since 2020, Guyana's government has increased its agricultural budget by 468%. Massive public and private investments have expanded rice, sugar, livestock, and aquaculture industries. Guyana also plays a leading role in CARICOM's Vision 25 by 2025, an ambitious plan to reduce the region's food import bill by 25% by 2025. As other Caribbean nations struggle with food dependence, Guyana is positioning itself as their regional supplier. And the land helps too. Guyana has vast, fertile river valleys, and access to freshwater. Combine that with political will, regional demand, and oil revenue to fund diversification, and you get a country that feeds itself, and might soon feed the Caribbean. This news couldn't come at a more urgent time. Many nations are facing food crises, especially with rising fertilizer costs, extreme weather, and the aftershocks of the COVID-19 pandemic and wars in Ukraine and the Middle East. Countries like Qatar, UAE, and Yemen were ranked at the bottom, producing virtually none of their own food. Even wealthy nations that import everything can become vulnerable in a crisis. Guyana's model shows what's possible when agriculture is prioritized. It's not just about food. It's about sovereignty, resilience, and economic security. As climate threats grow, more countries may turn to Guyana's blueprint. Guyana is sending a powerful message to the world. You don't need to be rich or large to be self-reliant. You need leadership, vision, and investment in your people and your land. While most nations are still dependent on global supply chains, Guyana stands alone, small in size, but unmatched in food independence. And that's something the world can no longer afford to ignore. The next time you hear about food shortages or import shocks, remember Guyana. Because in a world of rising insecurity, it may be the only truly safe place, at least when it comes to food. So, what does Guyana's food independence really mean for the rest of us? It's more than just a statistic, it's a wake-up call. While the world races to secure artificial intelligence and digital dominance, Guyana quietly mastered the most basic, most essential element of survival, food. In an age where climate disasters, war, and global instability are disrupting supply chains, this small South American nation stands tall. If a country with under a million people and a history of underdevelopment can pull this off, what excuse do the rest of us have? Thanks for watching. If you found this eye-opening, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and drop a comment. Do you think your country could ever become food self-sufficient like Guyana? Let's talk about it. Until next time, stay informed, stay aware, and stay prepared.